is good morning welcome to leave it live so it is 7 32 in the morning is monday october 30 21st <laughs> october 21st so in the in this one is like you know a lot of stuff has been happening has been happening since the full moon happened a lot of stuff has been happening and a lot of stuff has been coming to light you know these it was a text it was a text. This person did so much shit to me. And it's like, the information just comes out. Like, everything just comes out. And then what, what, what bothered me is that, you know, I say, I say, let them die. Because I know that they're doing things to hurt me. But and then, the person is controlling everyone else, getting them to attack me, and they die. And the person didn't even care about his own people dying. They're his people, his people, his tribe. They believe him and trust him and they'll do whatever that person is saying. And then they die because you can't attack me. Like you just can't, you could try and then you're going to get hurt. It's like, I could say it, I could say it. Like, nobody believes me, so they, so they do it. And then they die and then it's like, you know, I, I just don't care anymore. It's been years of hot mess, of hot mess and having to protect myself, cleanse myself, my energy. And it's been hundreds. It's been a lot of people. It's just been a lot. I make the splash, the spiritual splash. The splash is for your own protection. It clears away e evil. <laughs> it clears evil. It protects you. It clears your aura your mind everything <laughs> everything how it works how the splash works is when it's on your skin you know it, it just has to get absorbed in your skin that's how it works once it dries that's it it's on you it doesn't have a scent these are herbs it's florida water holy water rose water and it has a cologne in there but it's for your own protection. Holy water is, is for your own protection. It's to ward away evil, protect you from evil. That's what it's for. You know, people can be allergic to the Florida water. You know, it may irritate your skin. So put it on your clothes. Put it on your clothes. Let it dry on your clothes. Once it's on your clothes, you're, you're protected. It just has to dry on your skin. It just has to dry. Once it's on you, you're protected. You know, I do the eggshells. I do the eggshells, right? Like you're so, you're so weird. <laughs> but I do eggshells, so I I do shower with eggshells. I take the eggshells, I grind them up. I grind them up. I be like a real witch <laughs> in my kitchen, grinding up eggshells, and I use them in the shower. Like after I shower, after I take my shower. I'll, I'll shower again with just the eggshells. That's to put me in a protective bubble. You see an egg. The egg is the the eggshell. What is it protecting? It's protecting the egg. The chicken that's inside of the egg. So it's like the eggshells are putting me in that same kind of protective bubble that is protecting the, the chicken in, you know? I'm just trying to explain like the whole concept of the eggshells because you're probably like, oh my God, like you're so fucking weird talking about eggshells. Like how can the eggshells, but the eggshells are used for spiritual properties. The eggshells have spiritual properties. Do I have eggshells <laughs> on my face still? Because I, I, I use it every day. I use it every day, the eggshells to cleanse myself and to remove energies and to keep me in a protective bubble, you know, and I, and I use salt. Plain old salt is not iodized salt or whatever. And I use salt. Salt is for cleansing also. It puts you in a protective bubble. Like when we do the witches circle, you do a circle of witches for witches, right? <laughs> whatever you're doing, you're in the protective bubble. So nothing can come to you when you're inside of the salt. You know, so I, I shower with a shower, regular shower, <laughs> regular shower. But, and then 
I use salt and then I wash with salt and then I, I rinse it away. Once it's on me, it's it's like it, it's just cleansing. It's just removing all of the negative energies. I do this every day to cleanse myself. The spray, like I, I'll use the salt. I just started using the eggshells. I use the splash. I have the splash. I make buckets of the splash. And it's just protection. That's all it's for, is to protect yourself with the splash. The black salt. I make the black salt also. The black salt is used for protection. It's salt. It is coarse. It's coarse sea salt. I use coarse sea salt or coarse kosher salt. It's black. I use the ancestor money. So it's the ancestors. I'm using the ancestors to make the black salt, you know. For it to have, you need ashes. You can use like your instant ashes or ashes from a grill or from a fire. You can use any ash that you like. But I like to use the ancestor money ashes it's just to give it more power. You know, I want it to be strong because I want to be protected. And it's kosher salt or sea salt, whichever, you know. And I use the the ashes, the ashes, the ashes are used to burn and banish evil. You know, salt is used for protection. So we have salt and then the ashes from the ancestors. I am giving you the ingredients because you can make the black salt yourself from your home. So I use salt and the the ancestor money the ashes the ashes representation of the ashes is to burn to banish evil that's what it's for so ashes has to be in the black salt because it represents the burning and the banishing of your enemies the black pepper black pepper is added in there that also is to ward away evil is to keep evil away from you black pepper cayenne pepper cayenne pepper is like orange or red so it's gonna change the color that's why i use food coloring i use food coloring in there because it's not flammable because i am using it on candle work i'm using it to protect my home i'm using it so and then i don't want it to catch on fire so i don't put chemicals in here it's all natural ingredients salt black pepper cayenne pepper ashes from the ancestors and i put and i put eggshells in there because eggshells is for that added layer of protection is to protect you that's what it's for and the ashes from the ancestors i said that already right it's only like four or five ingredients you know it is charged with the sun the sun is shining so when i make the black salt it's during the new moon that's when no moon is present and is charging with the full moon. You need the new moon because the new moon is the dark moon. That's the, that's the dark moon. That's This black salt is a black magic item. You need to know evil in order to protect yourself from evil. If you don't know evil, how are you going to protect yourself from it? If you don't know, you have to know. You have to know what's up. So black salt can be used for evil or it can be used to protect yourself i use it for protection i make it for protection it is strongest when you leave it out in the moon the moonlight when it's the new moon the full moon and then i use the new moon again to close it out i use three moon cycles to close it out so when i made this black salt when i made this batch of black salt i used the solar eclipse the solar eclipse is an event that happens once every 20 years. The next time we're going to have a solar eclipse is going to be in the year 2044 in August. We're going to have another solar eclipse. So that's why the black salt that I sell, I sell it in one ounce glass jars is $20. The reason why it's $20 because it's a spiritual item. The solar eclipse is a very important event. It's a powerful event. 
you can do a lot of things with that solar eclipse I decided to make the black salt so the black salt is made with using the solar eclipse it's it's a natural event it's charged with the new moon it was charged with the solar eclipse when the solar eclipse was going on the black salt was already made it was already made and I had it charging under the solar eclipse the new moon came the full moon came everything came in and, and it was charging so this is very powerful you know and it wards away all evil burns it banishes it distinguishes it eliminates it destroys it demolish demolishes all evil it's on my window it's on my front door it's all around any opening in the house that is black salt in there <laughs> it's black salt in there but it is used for protection the eggshells I keep it in my shower because I shower with it every day I keep the salt in the shower and I shower with it every day and it's for cleansing that's all it's for is for cleansing the splash I put it in a spray bottle to make it easier to use the splash is a bath. It's a spiritual bath. That's what it is. It's actually a spiritual bath. And you use it for three days. So I was selling it like in the big bottles. The big bottles sold out. So now I just have the spray bottles. And then you just spray yourself and you leave it on yourself. When it was, when you put more in it, you take a spiritual bath with it. You can just put it on yourself and you wipe away like that. that's to get away evil like that's to get it off of you you <laughs> so you have to wipe it away it's spiritual spiritual things seem weird it seems like you don't understand or you know like like bye and, and but it it works <laughs> it actually works and it will help you everything i do here it is to help you and I burn ancestor money. Let me get the ancestor money. Wait, let me find it. I found it. So then the, the bundles, I, I, I make the bundles like that. They don't come like that. Ancestor money does not come in bundles as so. But, you know, the purpose of ancestor money is to help build a stronger connection with your ancestors. All of us have ancestors. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can burn ancestor money. It's made in China, manufactured in China, mass produced in China. And it's for everyone. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be from Scotland. You can be from Europe, you know, Asia. But it's the Asian concept and it's the Asian tradition to burn ancestor money. Ancestor money helps to build that connection with your ancestors. You can actually talk to the ancestors everything on the bill is in asian it's asian letters i don't know what it says i can't read it but it's all in asian it's an asian concept i didn't know about it so i looked up the information i looked up the, in the information and that's how i found out what it was and i'm like oh my god this is such an awesome thing like people need to know about it and that's why i talk about it and I burn it all the time. It has helped me. The Emperor. Like, I like, I like this one. I like this one. And this one is the poster one. Because it's a larger size. It's a larger size. And it says Hellbank on it. I know. I know. It says Hellbank on it. But it's not. You're not honoring Hell or anything like that. It's because you don't know where the ancestors are you don't know what happened to them you don't know what they did <laughs> you don't know what they did they could be in a bad place and they need help they need your help they need my help so that's why i burned the money because the ancestors need the money to pay off their debt you know because when the ancestors have debt you you end up with their debt we end up with whatever the ancestors whatever happened to the ancestors it, ha it happens to us and we have to break it. We have to figure it out. Like what the hell is going on? You have to break it, you know? Not all of us know that. So we have to figure this shit out. We have to, when you burn the money, it just builds you 
a closer connection with the ancestors. The emperor, the Jade Emperor, he was the first emperor. He was an, a respected man. Everybody loved him. Everybody wanted to be like him because he was such a good guy. He was honorable. He cared about the people. He cared about his people and he wanted us all to be wealthy. That was his whole thing. So, you know, he wanted all of us to have money. He didn't want us to be struggling out here and going through things. So, and then the injustices. There's so many injustices in the world and there's so many things going on and people doing things to you because there was a time all I was doing was burning ancestor money. That's all I did. I did that for like two years straight, just burning ancestor money. And it's, I do, and now I do the return of senders to return the evil, but I just burned ancestor money for my protection and to build that connection with the ancestors. And I would talk to the ancestors, be like, you know what, ancestors? And when people die, I call them. I call them out. That's how, you know, so that they're not forgotten. It's the same thing now, like the Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. It's like you honor your ancestors and you have your ancestor altar, you have their picture and you have their altar and you remember them. That's how you keep your ancestors alive. You have to remember them. You have to honor them. You have to do something for your ancestors. That's how you keep them close. So I keep an altar and I have food. I cook for them. I feed them. I cook them dishes that I think that they would like. Like if I like it, I'm like, oh, I know you're going to like it. I made it for you. You know, and, and that's just how it is. I have their picture there. I have ancestor money there. I burn the money all the time and I talk to them and I just tell them that I love them and I miss them and thank you for being there for me, protecting me against all this evil, all this stuff. These people do all this shit to me. And it's like, I can laugh at it now, but it's like, I, I thank the ancestors. That's, that's all I do. I thank them every day. I thank the ancestors. I burn the money every day. I have bags of ancestor money, little bundles like this to burn it all the time. And it just helps me build a stronger connection with the ancestors. Once I know what's up, then <laughs> the ancestors take over. I'll be like, oh, take that. You got it. Like now that I know what, what's going on, but they know before me. And then it's like, I need, when, when I find out or I don't know how it goes, because it's spiritual. Everything is spiritual before it is physical is spiritual and a lot of things happen in the spiritual and all I can I just thank the ancestors I thank God too I woke up today I thank God I'm here you know everything that has happened in life it has brought me closer to God but I'm still spiritual so I burn ancestor money I do salt baths, I do the egg sh I do stuff, you know, because I've always been that way. I can't, that part is not gonna go away. So then it's like, I just implemented a bunch of little things. Ancestor money comes from China. It's made in China. It's not an American thing. It's just something that I picked up and I saw that it was a way to connect with the ancestors because I wanted a way and I didn't have a way and I didn't have a person to help me. So I had to do everything by myself and I was like, I gotta do it by myself. So I was just looking for ways to help myself and to build my connection with my ancestors, you know? I know, I'm just talking about this because this is a spiritual channel. Lead with Love is a spiritual channel. I talk about a lot of spiritual things and then a lot of stuff is just happening now and a lot of stuff is coming to light. And then I started talking about all the stuff that had happened to me, you know? And I, I just wanted to explain or talk about my reasoning for things, like why I do things. 
why a lot why is salt in the shower <laughs> why is eggshells in the shower like you know it's for protection the splash is for protection and i wanted my ancestors i wanted to build that connection with the ancestors so i started burning the money and i built my connection and my dreams are more vivid everything is better Everything is better with the ancestors. I'm like, I, I love them. I love all of the ancestors, known and unknown. I love all of them. And I talk about it because I'm like, you know, I'm doing simple things to build a connection. And I'm like, you can do simple things too. It's not hard, you know? You just have to believe in yourself, trust the process, believe in God, like God. Like, God is everything. Without God, you have nothing. So it's like you need God in your life. Always, we will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I know I'm talking a lot. But thank you for being here. So always, we will love. Bye.